But were the times always the good times? No, of course not. Pay attention. I mean, we're not going to make a show about someone who's normal, right? Uh, look, what would you say is the way you recall it, Kevin? Well, um, the way I recall it, uh, her downslide didn't involve drugs because, well, she was allergic to most drugs. They'd give her hives. So uh, she started eating paint chips. I think the downside of being so young when she first exploded into the imaginations of the American people um, was that she was just she she was just young when she started hanging out with all these musicians and TV stars and famous folks, uh, and and they got her into some pretty bad stuff: Mexican Coke, uh, DFTBA, dry ice, dry ice, peep sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, the Shining Time Station. I'm not talking about, uh, you know, like just a few that she finds around. I'm talking about like a lot of paint chips. I mean, she she completely stripped all of the furniture and window frames in her parents' house uh, before they really caught on to what was happening and they tried to stop her. But then she'd sneak out at night with a butane torch and a putty knife and sometimes she'd strip an entire warehouse bare and bring it all home in a wheelbarrow and she'd eat and constantly eat. Well, she'd make salads sometimes. I mean, Beautiful, you know, with watercress and arugula and maybe some nice sliced fresh radish and tomatoes, but only in season. And then, like, a pound of paint chips. Uh, so it was a problem for her. I call those times the table-flipping years. Because any time that you said something that Molly didn't like, she would flip a table. Even if you were nowhere near a table. There was this one time I pissed her off on the street, and she walked, like, two blocks to find a restaurant where there were tables that she could flip. She flipped, like... 30 tables that day. Also, she broke my arm. Everybody started to worry, uh, except for um, Will Wheaton, you know, because we all know he's been eating paint chips since he was about three years old. I mean, even today, if he goes by a paint store, he'll just run right in and grab those paint samples they had to bring home and match to your curtain. He'll just grab like a fistful of those and just jam them in his mouth. And he's drooling all over and little bits of wet paint sample in his, in his face and into his beard. And uh, But that's Will. <laughs> but we were talking about Molly. 